Morning all. Um, back out on the creek where I was probably oh, last month. Um, we've had a bit of rain since. And I think my creek detection might be a little bit restricted. I've got, it's not a whole heap, but it's flowing just along the bedrock. A little puddles here and there. But I'm back at this spot up here where that big rock was. Big rock there. Just back to where I left off last time and I'll um, have another quick go here. I'll, I'll maybe, may, may dig that big rock out. It's quite large. Chisel out underneath it. So she's probably about two foot wide, probably about half a foot thick, maybe more, maybe more, and probably another foot, foot and a half the other way too. So she's quite big, and there's another one. It might be bedrock sitting underneath it there, but that's bedrock up there, very soft and decomposed. So I got four or five bits out of just just here last time I was here. So. I might have a go, considering the creek's got quite a bit of water in it now. So we'll see how we go in here. Alright, well that was a bit easier than I thought. That's that big sucker there. Yeah, a few more little, little rocks. So we've got a little bit more room to play with there. Let's see if that see if that kind of bedrock crevice runs that way a bit more. Looks like it does. Let's see what's there. I'll mess around with this for a little bit and then I'll, um, I'll go for a wander up upstream. Well, looks like I've got a little target here somewhere. See if I can find it. It's going to be hard in this clay stuff. Right, I moved a little bit of stuff off. Still in the same spot. Definitely, definitely more responsive now. So I'll, I'll get this one out and show you what I get. Right, I've taken a bit more dirt off. Just about there. Just about there. Just in here somewhere. I think I can see a piece down here, I'm not too sure. Looks like a little bit. There's one little piece. Don't know whether that was. Let's put that in the scoop. We'll see if there's still another one there. Because that was just sitting, that was actually over here. And I think the target was over here somewhere. It's a bit hard to tell because it's such a decomposed little crevice. 
hard to tell where the washer is actually sitting. And I didn't bring my little pan with me today. I could have panned all this out. No, I just specked that bit. There's still a bigger target in there somewhere. Come back with a pan another day. I forgot, didn't even bring it with me. Uh, oh, I've got some other friends out here further somewhere about. Somewhere about, I don't know where they are, but. They're around somewhere. But, um, I'll take some back when I go this afternoon. It's too close. She's still down in here somewhere. either. Give her a bit of a clean in the water, eh? Ish, but it's got a little bit of chunkiness to it as well. Probably, oh, I'd say half a gram. All right, we'll keep going and see what else is in here. Cool. I knew there'd be more stuff here. Just a matter of digging and detecting, digging and detecting, and sorting through it. Be good to process all this material too. All right, we'll keep going. Right, that was quick. Back again. Oh. Mud. Still got one just down here where I got that bigger one. There's a little one in there, but I just had a quick scan up here where I got that rock out. Target up the top there too, where I got that big, that big floater out. So we'll, um, we'll get this little one down here first. I might, might work this front edge because it's still all hard pack wash. That's a bit of a drop off in the you know, old bedrock. Bit of a drop off there. So, so I'll get this one out. All right, got it out. Off or out? I found it. Nice little bit. It's still stuck to the clay. It's only a little, only a little piece. Another little one. It's all right. I'll see what else is in here. I'll get that other target up the back there too when I'm ready. But I'll keep working this. Keep working this. Must be, it's like a bit of a crevice, runs up all the way up here because that's a, that's the top of the bedrock there and then it drops off and this is old, there's an old decomposed quartz vein in there too and it's bedrock, a little bit of wash and there's still bigger virgin rocks packed down in here so I'll keep working this spot. Um, stockpile this dirt somewhere too. I might come back one day and wash it all. Alright, we'll keep going. Hey, alright. 
So I've had pretty good thorough, thorough go over this. I chiseled, scraped, kept scraping the bed, decomposed bedrock off until it got down to a firmer base where it firms up a bit more. And um, but now I'll get that, still that target up the back corner there. So there's still that target there, but it's a bit, it's annoying because this real light over, overburden gives it, you got a ground balance to that and then your ground balance to that. And then that other orange, orangey stuff over there, you got to re-ground re balance to that again. It's a bit awkward, but you can clearly see, see the old wash. This is the bedrock here, and that's the old wash, original wash. The old Thomas haven't even dug this up. And um, that looks like a good little crevice down in there because it's bedrock just there. So there might be more pockets back in that way. There's definitely one there somewhere. Down in here somewhere, there's definitely one there. So we'll get that one out. I've just been working from the back forward, so I'm not... So I'm working from, the, from this outer edge up. So I'm just putting the material behind me as I go. Instead of working against myself. Make sure I've got everything. I might come back one day and wash this, or I might just tell one of my mates. He hardly does his detecting, so he's more into his high banking and pannings. So I'll tell him that he, he can come up here and wash all the clay stuff. <laughs> Alright, we'll get this other target out. Alright, we've got a little bit of material off here. See if we've got it out. Yeah, it's definitely out. Yeah, one of these clumps. Okay, I dropped it. I dropped it. Alright, is it in that bit? Dear idea. There it is, I think. Yep. Tiny little. Just another little bit. That'll do. I'll see if there's anything else. And then we'll go go for a wander up the creek. Do what I can with the water in there, unfortunately. Oh well. 
Seems like I got, might have a little bit of a target down here. But it's in the water. It's going to take me a little bit to get it out. So it's just in there somewhere. Just there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a rise there in the bedrock. So I'll try and get this one out. There's another nice little patch, patch of bedrock all, all through there. So we'll see what it is. Well, I've got a little bit of a few rocks and stuff out of the way. There's definitely a nice target down there. Perfect little drop off point too, right in the main little flow. Would have, would have come down here, bang, boop, drop off. So we'll try and get this one out. And I'll come back. It's going to take me a little while, it's in the water. <laughs> Alright, I've got it out. It's up here on the, this little pile of little pile of wash. I'll have a bit of a sift through and oh, it might be rubbish though I think. I don't think it was right on the bottom. Never know. How am I gonna do this? Just move, still moving along up the creek. Uh, just doing, there's a big chunk of bedrock, real steep. There goes a tree. Is it going to keep going? There's a tree up there in the background, way up there somewhere. Up through there somewhere. It just cro popped and cracked a couple of times. It's not going to go. No, it must have stopped. All right, back to this target. I've got a target up here on the on the bank, just in there. Could be just the rock too, because it's quite. It's got a bit of a reddy colour to it too. There's lots and lots of hot rocks up here. It's mineralised, like you wouldn't believe. All right, we'll try it out. See what's going on. Mm, chipped away at it a little bit. Hmm, I'll keep chipping away at it though. That tree had another bit of a crack, <laughs> hasn't fully come down yet. All right, I'll keep going. Oh, still trying to, trying to go. Another little crack just went, bit, well, at least a second ago. No doubt I'll miss it as soon as I turn the camera off. It'll fall. Good 
Here it goes. That was a whole head out of a tree. <laughs> One of the reasons why I don't wear earmuffs, headphones, and you just can't quite hear those cracks and creaks. Alright, I'll keep chipping away at this one. Alright, just moved up a little bit further. That um, target in the wall is just mineralisation. Um, just here at another bit of a log jam. Blown out some more material here. And there's a, we've got a target down here. Hopefully, no, it's not that just that rock there, because this red, this red iron. Oh, I don't know what it is, but highly mineralised. There's got some good quartz veins running through it too. Yeah, it looks like it's mineralisation. I chipped a bit off the top, that bit there. Very mineralised. Alright, we'll keep going. Hey, right. been ages. I've been up the creek. God knows how far. I was just starting to make my way back because I've got a probably whoa, a good couple of k's. Easy. Back to the car. I just flipped over a couple of rocks. I've got a target down here. Just flipped the rocks over. I've got a bit of yellow there. That one, the ripper. One more for the way home. Easily a gram, I reckon. Bloody beauty. Alright, I'll mark this one on the GPS and have a little bit more of a go. I'll, I'll come back to this spot. Alright. Alright. I'm done for the day. I'll make my way back to the car. Push through this bit stuff. Believe it or not, this is an actual track was a track. The only thing that use it now is me and the deer and the wild dogs. So I'll push through all this crap for about, I don't know, there's only about half a K or so, 800 metres of this stuff. And then it opens up again, a little bit clearer. Oh, underneath the big log. Alright, well, I'll see you. We'll do a way up when we get back home. A bit of a clean up. So here's what, what the weights were. Alright, see ya. Alrighty, all home. That's the rubbish. Rubbish that I got today. I'm guessing they've handmade that to use it as a. Um, Bit of a scraper, crevicing tool. Just all, all bits of steel. No lead today, actually. So, and these are the bits I got. It's 
three, four, four bit. Those four bits there, they were from that very first spot, and then this one was from up the creek. No, I'll leave. I'll leave it in that. Um, it's stuck to a bit of like hard pack or conglomerate or something. It's like really. I reckon it looks pretty cool. Stuck to it. So I'll leave it like that. Also, I won't weigh it. It's probably about a 0 0.2. 0 0.2, or I reckon. Then there was that bigger one right at the end of the day. It should be a gram, I reckon. So let's see how we go. out in the shed. It's a bit glary. One point five eight plus that little piece. Let's see what the bigger bits weigh. Just over half a gram. Wow, it's only 0 0.8. 0 0.82. Oh well. Still a good fun day out. I ended up walking. Oh, the return trip. I set me, reset me GP, uh, GPS. And it was... Um, uh, 3.35 k's that was one way so I double that plus a little bit of walking around and zigzagging a bit of walking today but got some good color so all right till the next one